Hi heathens! So today's video is going to be just playing around as always on the weekends. I have some chores to do so we're just going to get right on into it. I got one of the um, Too Faced mystery bags and one of the items in there was the Too Faced natural matte. It is a neutral matte eyeshadow palette. The packaging is gorgeous. And then for, for the la, 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 la. for those of you who don't know, um, the two co-founders of Too Faced stepped down. So I don't know what that means for the brand as far as changes or, you know, potential rebranding, but something to keep in mind. So this is what the outside of the component looks like. For some reason, some of the eyeshadows have a little more in them than others because it says three of them are 0.21 ounces and six of them are 0.24 ounces. But they're supposed to be all mattes. Oh, I see why. That makes sense. Because three of them are bigger. Oh, it smells phenomenal. Oh. I love that. Okay, I'm going to just take two fluffy brushes here. I'm going to make sure they're both as clean as I can get them without like cleaning cleaning them. And I'm just going to pick one row and we're going to make a look with it because it looks like that's kind of how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to take my fluffier of the brushes and tap in here to Lace Teddy which is the big one on the bottom row. And we're just going to build that up across my shadows. I don't think, and I, I might be wrong, but I don't think that prior to this I've ever owned a Too Faced eyeshadow palette. I have used them because I've had friends who have had the, like, um, what are the ones that the Too Faced chocolate palettes, I mean the, I guess it is chocolate palettes. I was going to say that the Makeup Revolution chocolate palettes are like duping. I guess that's the chocolate palettes, but so I've used one of those. I don't even remember which one it was. And it wasn't bad. Just for a high-end brand, they didn't like blow me away either. And that's how I feel about the Urban Decay Naked palettes too, like the originals. But whatever. Now I'm going to tap in with the same brush into Au Natural. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush for that last shade called Hookup. There's a little bit of kickback in the pans, but again, I don't really have an issue with that. So just something that I'm noting for everyone else. This mystery box also came with a Oh dang. It came with an eyeshadow lid insurance or something like that, which is an eyeshadow primer. And I totally forgot. It came with a one of the lip injection plumping glosses, um, which I gave to Brittany because I have enough plumping glosses to last me a while now. And a mini better than sex mascara. And I think that was it. So like not bad. Probably not the items that I would have picked, but not bad. All right, so now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and losing my light, tap into a cup. It's like a, an orangey brown. Very pretty. And ooh, very pigmented too, holy cow. Somehow I wasn't expecting that. Not that the other two have been bad, they're just light, so I guess I didn't think about what a darker shade would do. Yeah, I know. Sorry if you can hear cat noises in the background. There is a little bit of fallout right under my eye, but nothing like crazy. These blend amazingly. And I've been swapping back and forth recently for work with using a shimmer and then doing like an all matte look. So I think this is going to be perfect for the days where I just want to do an all matte look, kind of like no muss, no fuss type thing. Ooh, 
wiped off a little too much of that one. There we go. I'll take it out through the crease over the lid. Oh, it smells so good. Makes me want to eat it. It kind of has like a chocolate smell. But there's something else in there too. There's a gnat. I don't know if you can see him flying right in front of my face. It's going to be awful if the camera just decides to try to focus on him. But like you can see some of that little bit of fallout. I am excited about that. I was a little nervous at first because like I said, the Too Faced Chocolate palette wasn't like, oh my gosh, amazing in my opinion. But it wasn't bad. I feel like it's a nostalgic palette for a lot of people because that's one of the like just like the naked palettes from Urban Decay. It seems to be one of the first high-end palettes that a lot of people purchased or were gifted. Um, I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Life Glows On Illuminator palette and the shade French Fizz for my highlighter today. Um, but yeah, I didn't get into having like anything high end, um, until I really started like my YouTube channel, because even before that, I didn't do a lot of like Ross and TJ Maxx makeup shopping. You know, I went to Ross for dresses and shoes and house goods. I went to TJ Maxx for house goods and not so much shoes but like sometimes perfumes and stuff like I would look at the makeup I bought a couple nail polishes but my makeup selection was pretty slim before I started filming because that was when I really started getting like ipsy and boxy charm and like playing around with a little more adventurous stuff and collecting makeup a little bit more I use that word lightly because like do I own too much? Yes. Do I really, like, collect it? Not really, but kind of. Tarts like Camera Lashes Mascara real quick. So, yeah, I was a little nervous about the palette, but I do really like it so far. And I feel like it's going to be really useful for just quick, easy looks. Whether I leave them matte or I use something else to add a little shimmer into it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> no, not while I'm putting on mascara, sir. I think I'm just going to do top mascara for today. Let's turn the wand and see if I can do this side without dipping back in. You know what I really want to do? Go swimming. It's getting so hot outside. And, like, it can't even make up its mind. So, like, a couple days ago, the high was, like, mid-60s. And today it's supposed to be mid-80s. Like, this is why no one can get better. Like, everyone's sick. And it's because the temperature keeps changing. It's driving me nuts. Alright, for my lips. I'm going to be going in with the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And this is the shade Forever. I love this stuff. It's so soft. It's like almost moussey. Like, it has an interesting smell. I can never place what it is. Like, kind of fruit. Switching sides. And they do dry down matte. Like, they're not uh, completely non transfer. And, like, if you eat, it's coming off. How did I get mascara on the back of my hand? When did that happen? Does anyone know? Because I have no idea how that happened. 
Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, they're not 100% transfer proof, but they're still really nice. And then to top it all off, I'm going to use the Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist infused with Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra Complex. I love the way this smells. It smells like it should be a perfume, but it's not quite like overpowering perfume, but just like a nice light scent. All right. That is it. Super quick little get ready with me. I'm gonna go clean off my kitchen table, put away some laundry, and then I have no idea. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. Give me some ideas down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.